Hundreds of people packed into today's Austin City Council meeting. They all wanted their voices heard before the city gives the green light to the F1 Formula One racetrack. The council's blessing would clear the way for the state to provide organizers with $250 million that would be spread out over 10 years. KXN's David Scott has been at City Hall all day long where the public has been giving the council their take on Formula One. David? I'll say that the city of Austin insists it's not going to spend a red cent on Formula One. Those are state funds from the comptroller out of the major event trust fund. But the city has to give the official approval to F1 before the state can release the money. And F1 wants to get paid next month. So all day today, city council got an earful from both sides. F1 supporters argue the track will create jobs and lure millions of tourist dollars, that it can be used year-round for a host of events. To them, it's a no-brainer. Everybody seems to be stuck on one race one time a year. There are going to be other races. There are going to be other big events. There are going to be concerts, major activity going on out there. You want to build a tax base. But critics say the city is rushing into this, that the economic and environmental impacts have not been thoroughly studied. They also don't want tax dollars to finance it. We're all just going to cross our fingers and hope for the best. This is crazy. I do not believe any of you as intelligent adults would buy a house in this manner or conduct any other business deal like this. You don't sign until you can see what you're actually signing. Newly elected Kathy Tova won't be sworn into council until next week, but she believes details of the deal are murky. I think the most important thing is really that the contracts um, are prepared enough and that, the, and that the council members really have an opportunity to review, but also that, um, that the public feels that there's been a transparent and open and thorough process. And that, you know, from the concerns I've heard today, there, there are many um, concerns about that. F1's attorney urged council not to delay. Because surely the city of Austin is not trying to run this event off or this facility off. And, and, and we, we danced around without saying, you know, you never know. Well, just moments ago, and I mean literally moments ago, the council voted 6-1 to one to delay all this until next Wednesday. The only voting against the delay was Mayor Leffingwell himself. What gets interesting is Kathy Tovo gets sworn in next week to replace pro-development incumbent Randy Shade. Tovo's not nearly as keen on this deal as Shade is. When I asked her her feelings about it today, Tovo kept her cards pretty close to her vest. At City Hall, David Scott, KXAN News. While